what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so this video might be all over the place i honestly don't really know i have a lot of different footage but i just wanted to quickly show you guys my cinema room if you remember from my house tour i said i wanted to make one of my rooms like a movie cinema room um so that's exactly what i did it's still a work in progress as everything else that i've been showing you guys um but this was one of the rooms that i really first started working on um because i already had my couch and stuff i'll get into that um but i'm just waiting on a few more things so without further ado this is my cinema room I'll turn the lights on you guys got the vibe okay so um obviously i'm going to uh do a full house tour but i just want to show you guys the cinema room and what's in here so far so when you first walk in um basically this is such a small room but i think i still achieved that cinema feel with it so i'm really proud of it these are my couches from my apartment if you remember so since i got a new couch downstairs in my living room i just decided to move these ones upstairs instead of getting a whole new set um i could have gotten like theater type seats but they were like twelve hundred dollars so i was like no i'm gonna use exactly what i have um these seats recline a lot of people someone said they didn't like this couch before but it's super comfortable and i don't care okay they recline so it's really comfortable whenever I have my family over or Chris over um, and we can just lay back and watch movies. I don't know if I'm going to keep, you okay? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these pillows. These are kind of just extra pillows that I had for the couch at first, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. So over here, basically um, I made these wall sconces and I'm actually going to show you guys probably at the end of the video or the middle of this video. I honestly don't really know these really bring everything together to make it look like a movie room and it was super super cheap for me to make these in comparison to other wall sconces that you have to wire them through the walls or do like electrical things literally it's like so cheap all i have to do is change the batteries whenever they run out um but can't really see right now because i have the lights on but let me turn it off as you can see they definitely make everything come together super nicely i think these batteries are going out a little bit but yeah for this little light thing it's super cool let me turn on the lights so you guys can see i will put the link to it in the description basically all it is is a little usb plug-in light and it projects like blue stars onto the ceiling this is honestly my favorite part because I can take that USB anywhere. I can plug it into the car if I want it to. I could plug it downstairs into the couch and it will project onto the ceiling down there. It's just a vibe. Um, and then I decided I just wanted to put some movie posters in here. Obviously, this is my favorite movie. <laughs> um, no, I still need one more movie. So comment down below what movie poster you think should go in the middle of that one. And then you will see on the final house tour which one I picked. Um, yeah, so I have a Black Panther one. Um, a Lion King holds near and dear to my heart. If you guys watch my Get to Know Me video, you know why. Um, so yeah, just have my little movie posters there. And then over here is where I am going to put this little candy station that I made. Basically, it's a pegboard. Um, that I got from Lowe's and I just spray painted it gray like everything else in here um, and then I got these candies from the dollar store and um, little pegboard hooks and yeah it makes it look like a little concession stand I'm probably gonna make like um, a custom frame or something for it so that I can put it up on the wall and maybe like something that says cinema or concessions on top of it something cute and clever then over here um, these were my old side tables from my apartment. When I moved in here, I didn't have space for them downstairs when I got my new couch, and they were actually gold, but I spray painted them <laughs> silver to kind of match with the aesthetic of the room. So right now I just have them in the movie room, and it seems like it's kind of working. First I was going to try to sell them, but it seems like it's working in here, so I'm probably going to keep it. The biggest thing 
is my TV. I think it's a 70 inch. Yeah, 70 inch TV or 75. I think it's 70 though. I honestly can't remember. Uh, I got this from BJ's and it was only, I think, I think I got it for $600, you guys. $600 for an LG Smart TV. Like, and it wasn't even Black Friday. So, yep, I just come in here. It's a whole entire vibe. Um, and then I just have some blackout curtains to keep the sun out so that it can stay pretty dark in here. I was thinking if I wanted to turn that to white or just leave it gray so it kind of blends in, but not really sure. I'm gonna get something to hide that cord. Thinking maybe getting a sound bar, not sure yet, but yeah, just keeping it kind of simple, but nice and cozy. So after I post videos, a lot of times I will come in here and, oh wow, she kind of looks like me. Um, I will come in here and sometimes just watch it on the big screen to see how it looks and just chill. Here we're Ava. But yeah, that's how my cinema room is coming together. Um, let me know in the comments below, like I said, what movie poster you think I should put in the middle of that one. Yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys and update you on it. Um, like I said, I will be doing a final house tour once everything comes together. I'm still waiting on a lot of things, but I've been taking you guys along with the journey, so hopefully you've been enjoying it. But um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications to be updated. Every time I upload, I upload every single week. So yeah, join the family. All right, you guys, I will see you later. Bye. So for this tutorial, you need three total wood pieces for one sconce. So two that are a little bit shorter and then one wider one, because basically you're gonna put them together to look like that. So I recommend using a nailer. You can use a drill and screws, but it takes a lot longer. Um, so either works, but this nailer, I literally did this in like a second. You just uh, flush out the wood to each other and then use the nailer to bond them to each other. And that's literally it. So doing that to both sides and just securing it and you're all good. You do just wanna make sure if you're gonna use a nailer that the nails that you use are long enough to go through the board. So if not, make sure the width, I guess, of the wood is shorter than the nail, if that makes sense. So it should look like this. Next, I spray painted them silver. I didn't use like a wood stain. I guess you could do that too, but this worked perfectly fine for me. I just used a metallic spray paint. Um, and I just sprayed all of the sides that would show. I didn't spray the inside because that was gonna be towards the wall and I felt like it was unnecessary. So that's all you have to do. So once that's done, it's time to put on the jewels. So I got these adhesive pearl wraps from the Dollar Tree. They are just a dollar each. Um, basically, I wanted to give that rhinestone effect without it looking too gaudy. Um, so this worked perfect. I just lined it up to the side of my sconce and then peeled off the back and placed it down. These are super sticky, so once I place it down, I can't move it. So if you do try this tutorial, make sure to beware of that. And then for any pieces that didn't fit the entire thing, I just cut to sides and edit them to the bottom. Just to add a little more razzle-dazzle, I added some more little strip pieces at the bottom of the front panel of the wood. And so they turned out looking like this. Next, you just need to get some of these push lights, also from the Dollar Tree. Um, and they take AAA batteries, so you can get that from the store as well. It just twists off the back and then input the batteries. When you twist it back on, you can take off the little plastic covering and stick it to the wood. This is also super sticky, and once I stick it down, I cannot remove it, so beware of that. But I do like it because since it twists off, it's really easy for me to change the batteries whenever I need to and it's really bright. <laughs> so I just added um, two to each of my sconces, one at the top and one at the bottom so that it reflects against the wall nicely. 
To hang it up, I just used some Velcro um, command strips. I basically folded it in half and then cut it so that it would fit the sides of my small um, wood piece. Um, just stuck that to the sides, all four corners, and then put it up to the wall. So that's what I'm going to show you guys, and it's really easy. This is honestly a super easy tutorial, or not a super easy tutorial, but a super easy DIY. Um, so if you are looking for any like additional lighting, but a sconce is too expensive, or you just don't want to wire you know into your walls this works perfect so i just used the level to make sure it's straight and then i pushed it into the wall once i took the plastic off and that was it so thank you guys for watching and let me know if you ever tried this tutorial